Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. In this episode, we're going to be doing some boring. Again, fantastic. So I've just zeroed this corner here and what I'm going to do is find the centre of the hole and I'm just going to use the boring head just to start the hole and then I'm going to transfer it to the lathe. I would bore it on this but I'm not 100% confident so we'll do it in the lathe. So the reason we're going to bore this beginning section here is so I have a centralised datum edge to use the dial test indicator in the lathe so I know that I'm going to bore it in the right place. Right, so that now gives us a nice flat datum edge so we can set it up in the lathe. Right, so I've got this dialed in as close as I can on all the faces. So we're moving about one graduation there. So on this end it's about a thou. Along the length it's a thou and a half. And then in here, it keeps varying, it's, it's like two thou. Which goes on right on edge. So I think over the, the grand scheme of things, um, I think we're pretty close, I think that'll do. I don't think we'll be a million miles out. And what I'm going to do anyway is on this face here, at the very end, I'm going to take that, a very light skim off to make sure that this end is parallel to the bore. So even if we are slightly out, we should be fine. To be honest, I could probably get that a bit more. There we are, it's a thou. No, yeah, thou. One thou. Which it shouldn't have altered the other other faces. So we're good to start boring. So to begin with, we're just going to go down with a very light cut because we don't know how accurate the core was when it was when this was uh, cast. If we go down with a very light cut, if there's any narrower bits, uh, we're not going to do too much damage. I'm just going to rub through light, come back out, and then we'll start taking bigger cuts. Yeah, for now, just a very light cut. And hopefully you can see on the camera, you know, how, how true we've got it centred. Because uh, this hole that we bored before, it's not moving. But it 
is a bit of an opt optical illusion with this big lump sticking out. just can you just see that dark bit there hopefully you can uh, that's where we're not down to the solid cut yet so we're getting solid cut up to there and then it gets to near like here at that end and then goes back to solid cut so that must oh no, start earlier than that I can't see any 
In fact, that goes to, but it goes to about there. So, another couple of cuts and that will be on solid cuts constantly. Which it, it, it does, it runs a lot smoother when it's on a solid constant cut. So what I'm going to do now is because that hole is square is I'm going to take a really really thin cut off this end and that will make sure that this end where the cap goes is parallel to the bore. This is the rear so this is where the piston rod goes. All you've got to do is make sure that when you set these up if you're doing them in a lathe is uh, make sure that you've done them handed. Right I'm going to take a, a skim off this end. There we go. Although it probably looks like a bad finish, it's actually really nice. Right, I'll get rid of this burr, because it's got a burr on it now. Uh, I'll take some measurements before I take this out the chuck. And then we'll uh, send the honing thing through. Right, so we have the cylinder off the lathe. And now we're going to hone it. And to hone it, we're going to use one of these, which is a honing tool. These come in different sizes and different grades. This one has been lent to me by a chap at the club. It's quite simple. You put it in a cordless drill. You lubricate inside the hole with uh, thin oil. Uh, for that, I'm going to use some WD-40. And hopefully, we should get a nice finish. So we'll crack on with that bit. And then after a while of doing the honing you should end up with something that looks like this 
Well, I think that's what they're supposed to look like. It is actually crisscrossed scratched, which is where the oil is going to sit when the steam engine is first used and the oil is thrown in. The oil is going to sit in those scratches, you see, the steam oil. And obviously steam being dense, it's not going to get past them because they're not that deep. They're, they're literally surface. You can't feel them with your fingernail. Um, I'm super pleased how they've turned out. And I have to give a huge shout out to my friend Chris who has helped me uh, with a lot of advice doing this. So a big shout out to Chris. He knows who he is and he knows which Chris it is. Um, thank you very much, Chris. Without you, I'd be stuffed. Believe it or not, it has taken probably about two weeks of filming. Uh, it takes a very long time to work on the cylinders to this stage. So when I say it's taken two weeks, I mean it's taken two weeks of filming to get to this stage on the cylinders, which is mental. If you'd like to help support the channel further, then please do check out our social media pages because I have a Facebook page and I have an Instagram page, which are linked. So anything that I put on one is on the other. I do show a little bit of stuff from in here, but I also show stuff out and about uh, down at the club and places I visit and whatnot which is all steam related and engineering and whatnot. So go check that out. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then if you look down there, there is a button and it's called thanks. If you click that, you can give us a donation, which we'll throw back into making these videos and the steam engine. And if that's something you want to do, then thank you very much. We really appreciate it. We couldn't do this without you. And finally, if you like what you've seen and you've not already then please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell you'll be notified when we next release a video which will be on the steam engine and don't forget to tickle the like button because that will help this video share around to like-minded folks who are into the similar stuff that you are which you must have exceedingly good taste because you know you're here watching this channel which is fantastic and if you click over there uh, you might enjoy that one too so, uh, stay safe. Laters. I suppose we better make the next bit.